Good afternoon and welcome to everybody to, uh, for coming today. It's a special day. It's an exciting day for, for Mason County High School and Mason County Lady Royals basketball as uh, we are excited to announce that Coach Brad Cox will be the new head coach for the Lady Royals this next season. Just a, a little background on Coach Cox. Um, obviously, I know him pretty well. I've worked with him the last five years. He's been an assistant boys coach here at Mason County the last five years. He's extremely knowledgeable about the game of basketball. Uh, and works really well with kids. Uh, before that, he was an assistant girls coach at Madisonville High School down in Western Kentucky. And before that, he was an assistant boys coach at Pendleton County High School back uh, 2004 to 2009, where they had won a boys regional tournament. Uh, so he has coached for 12 years. Uh, he has been a teacher for six years. Uh, he graduated from Northern Kentucky University with a degree in social studies, uh, secondary education and he is currently working on his, uh, his master's degree. So uh, he's also been the head boys golf coach here at Mason County High School the last three years. Uh, last year's team finished 11th in the state uh, tournament, boys golf. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome up Coach Brad Cox. Thank you. Um, I'm very excited uh, for this new opportunity I would like to thank everyone that helped me uh, during this process. I weighed uh, many different options and opinions. I appreci uh, appreciate uh, everyone's support. Um, I believe accepting this position is a great opportunity for me. Um, I believe that I'm inheriting a great group of players, but more so uh, a great group of students. Uh, they have the potential to be great and I want to help them reach that level and build upon their previous success. Thank you. Questions from the press? Brad, right, you talked about what kind of team it was. I mean, a Final Four team, that's not too many chances to come in and take a team like that. Um, I mean, the pieces are there, um, and they're young. And I think with my philosophy for basketball, I think there's room for improvement and room for them to uh, grow and mature as uh, players and people. So I'm ready to get started. I'm, I want to get in the gym as soon as possible and implement the system, some stuff that I think that will work and be beneficial for them, and then uh, take that into this summer and play as many games as we can and start building uh, the groundwork for the philosophy of the program moving forward. You talk about wrestling with maybe staying on Coach Big's staff and the girls' job. Just talk about the dilemma. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, if it wasn't for Coach Biggs, I wouldn't be in coaching whatsoever. Um, so I owe a lot to him. You know, I talked to a lot of people, some people I've coached with before, some other people in the business. And professionally, I think it was the best opportunity for me. Um, I enjoy working at the school. Um, I enjoy living in this area. And to become a head coach without having to leave a place where I'm trying to establish a home, um, it, it, when you look at all the options and weigh all the factors, it was an easy, easy decision. Did coaching the girls in Madisonville, did that make it easier? Or that play um, yeah, um, I do have a year of, of experience coaching girls. Um, but, you know, in my opinion, kids are kids. Um, and each kid is different. You know, something that might motivate one kid might be something that doesn't motivate another kid. So, you know, it doesn't matter if, it boy, if it's boys or girls. When it comes down to it, it's basketball and I feel that I'm knowledgeable enough to help them improve and help them reach their goals. What kind of style of play, different things like that? Would you think? Uh, if I could describe my philosophy in three words, it would be defend, <coughs> rebound, and run. Um, you got to be able to guard, uh, you got to be able to finish possessions with rebounds, and then after that I want to play fast. And then if you don't have something um, in transition, uh, I've got a bunch of different sets uh, to, that I want to use to try to take advantage of mismatches and, and the talent that's available uh, at our disposal. As far as your staff, you plan continuity there? Um, I'm, I'm going to get to work on that right away. I'm going to talk to everyone that was on the staff last year, and I've got some uh, other people in mind I want to speak with as well. Um, so that's not set in stone, and that's something we'll work on moving forward. Going to keep coaching golf? Uh, my intention is to continue to coach golf uh, through this year. Um, I, I made a commitment to them, mm -hmm. and 
Um, I would like to see see the season out this year because we have some high expectations as well. Um, and, and with the schedules, a, a lot of the golf schedule is weekend tournaments. So, and the season's over the first week of October, so I could still split my time between both programs right. and not lose any uh, development time uh, with each team. Yes, I have expectations coming off last year's team. Do you embrace those expectations and try to run with them and just try to set the ball Sure, higher? sure. Uh, I think having expectations is a good thing. Um, it doesn't matter where you're at or what sport you coach or what sport you're involved in. There's expectations for anything that you're involved in, involved in with something that's successful. So, you know, <coughs> it, it won't be easy. Um, there's competition within our district and within our region. Um, we just have to get to work and outwork people. And if we do that, then we'll set ourselves up to, you know, try to build upon what, we, uh, what the girls did last year. Good motivators, uh, state tournaments at NKU. Yeah, that's uh, that's appealing, you know. Yeah, it's not in Bowling Green. Um, it's right up the road, and if we were fortunate enough to make it to that, you know, stage in the tournament, that you know, hopefully we can have a lot of fan support. Right. And I've got a lot of friends and family in that area as well, so that would be special. But we, you know, we just got to take it one day at a time and build towards that. We know about the personnel and uh, I guess run some open gyms, that type of thing, get to know your players. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen them. Um, I haven't really <coughs> studied them. Like, I studied boys basketball or our team and or scouting opponents the last couple of years. But I've seen them play. I, I know, uh, you know, what type of pieces that we have. Um, from what I've seen, they're all skilled. Um, they pass and handle the basketball very well. So, uh, you know, it makes it easier for me, you know, to implement <coughs> some of the stuff I would like to do. Any other questions? Okay, I guess... Uh